Hey guys, I'm in the outskirts of Tokyo, Japan. It's raining right now, but right in front of me there's a really nice store called Suike Kobo, and we're gonna go check it out. We'll do a store tour. I'll try my best to do a store tour as best I can. It's a pretty uh, small store, but let me let me give you a look through it. Hold on, it's a car. So you can see the outside of the store looks really nice and it's a really cozy store on the inside. You can take a look at the rocks here. There's some driftwood, really nice. Look at that, there's even some huge driftwood over here. And then there's a little pot here. People use this kind of stuff to keep rice fish and rice fish will thrive. Rice fish are very hardy and look at this. These are fire belly salamanders, I think or newts, I'm not so sure as I'm not an expert but those are really cool so let's go ahead look at some of the rocks there so let's go ahead and take a look inside when you walk inside you can see these two tanks right beside you that look really amazing the one up here is a little bit cloudy because the owner just did a water change but I have some clips of it when the water is crystal clear so you can check that out and it looks really beautiful. The guppies in there are amazing. And in this tank here, there's some really nice, um, what are they called? Lampi killifish. And the plants in here, just absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. And, and there's a really nice guppy in this tank as well. I'll try to show you that. And check this out. Look at these Amano shrimp just eating the pellets. And then below, there are a few more planter tanks. And the plants, of course, are for sale. You can see some black mollies in here. There's a really nice lotus in there. And then over there, you have some guppies. I'm not familiar with all the types of guppies there are, so I can't tell you what they're called. Um, it looks really good. And then down below, you have another section. Uh, some Anubias in those tanks with autosynclus, a whole bunch of autosynclus in that tank. And then over here, there's some Siamese algae eater, there's a pleco, a spotted pleco, a denison barb, really large sized denison barb. And I also saw a nice gurami. The water level's a little low right now, but it's because it's a water change. And then if you look underneath the tanks, the rats, um, there's a bunch of ADA soil different types of ADA substrate as well and then I just want to take a look at this again you can see the what are those lampi killifish it looks really gorgeous in that tank and there's some ADA lights look at this fan it's really cute and then if you look straight ahead there's a whole bunch of tanks there the owner is doing a water change right now so you can see some there's some work in progress let me go around this way. There's a nice uh, saltwater tank there with a single clownfish in it. And check this out. I love this. Paludarium plants. Really cool. Some bettas down there. Have some uh, Japanese rice fish food there. And more bettas here. And then there's a little saltwater section right here, which is really nice and a small ADA tank so there's the outside oh and check this out I haven't seen this yet there's a whole bunch of shrimps here check out the orange shrimp really beautiful orange shrimp are one of my favorites I just love the colors red ones are nice too cherry shrimps what's your favorite type of shrimp there's some yellow ones there as well What do they have down below? So a few more different type of shrimp. And let's turn around. Over here you have some freshwater fish, a whole bunch of platies and mollies. Some female bettas here, I think they are. Honey guramis. Over here you have some nice blue guppies. Look at that. They look beautiful. White cloud minnows. And if you go down, there are some goldfish. Here are some ranchus. 
and I think there are some Ryukins as well. Are those dojo loaches? Are they called dojo loaches? I'm not so sure. And then over here, there's some discus and angelfish, platinum angelfish, which look really nice. And a tank full of cardinal tetras. Look at that, that's amazing. One of the most popular fish in the aquarium hobby. Down below, some Corydoras, uh, green fire tetras, black phantom tetras, some white rice fish. And check out this half beak. This half beak is really cool. And then we move down below and there's a whole bunch more goldfish. And there's a nice little setup, planted tank with some snails and mm, I think I only see snails right now. Oh wait, I actually see some crystal red shrimp. Look at those crystal red shrimp. They look really nice. Now let's move on to the second section. So I won't show everything right now because the owner is doing a water change in like every single tank and he manually does it using a bucket so that's pretty interesting. You can see there's some nice uh, diamond head neon tetras, I think that's what they're called. But you can see their eyes are, their heads are really bright blue. Some albino neon tetras too which is really nice, you don't see that everywhere. Up above, there's some rosboras. There were some nice angelfish in that tank. They're still there. And uh, epistograms as well. Some green neon tetras. Rosboras, a nice betta. Uh, let's quickly go through this. Down below, there are some really beautiful rice fish. There's some black rice fish there. They don't look black, but they're called black rice fish. And then here, there's some really nice red ones really bright and they look amazing and after all the fish tanks you have this section over here with a whole bunch of products um, take a look at some of the foods here they've got a bunch of hikari foods and then some ADA foods as well I like this a lot the can is really nice some ADA things there's a lot of ADA in Japan of course it's from Japan but Moving on, you have a magazine rack here, which is really nice. Uh, a bunch of, what's this? You can see like aqua conditioner. There's a lot of products. And this tank is really nice here. It's really simple. It's a pretty good size too. It's not one of those tiny little bowls. And you can see some fish and there's a, sh a shrimp, a mano shrimp in there as well. And so I think this is the counter area. And then there's a tank behind the counter. Pretty nicely set up. It's an ADA tank. So what's in there? Some cardinal tetra, some harlequin rasboras, some amano shrimp. And then some smaller tanks. That one is not set up yet. You can see the driftwood outside. And then here is this one tank. This is pretty unique. I've never seen anything like this. You can see the sand moving around there. Really cool. I like with this tank how all the roots grow inside the water and it makes it look so natural. You can see the plants outside. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of hard to get everything together because the owner was doing water changes on a lot of his tanks. So I hope I, I got the video well. Um, but I did get a few things from the fish store. I got some medaka food, which is rice fish food, Japanese rice fish food for my uncle. And let me show you. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this. I'm holding an umbrella, a camera, and this bag right here, which I should put in my bag. But let me show you guys. So here's a little magnet cleaner, very small. This will be for my Fluval Flex tank, for a tiny little tank. And then, I'll show you the, check out the scenery. 
And then here is the rice fish. You can see it says Medaka. So this will be for my uncle. 